racing on a dirt track, it's a lot different than just regular asphalt driving. It's a lot more difficult because you've got the car going sideways, you got people like right next to you when you're sliding up and either if you're going down, you just people all around you and you got so much movement with that car so it's just really hard and got a lot of thinking to do and self-control. It's so much fun, so much fun and just the people and environment, it's just it's a great feeling, the engine roaring, the smell of fuel, it's just great. Go to work, Monday through Friday. Come home, work on the cars Monday through Friday. Go to racing Friday, Saturday, maybe even Sundays, Thursdays, if they have races as well. So it's constantly like a two jobs between racing and working. I've been doing this for about seven years. Once my cousin started racing, we kind of watched him every Friday night and then I got into it when my cousin let me drive his car and then my brother thought it would be really cool and so he hopped into it and ever since then we've all just been into the sport. It gets a little loud. This is the part I like. Okay, okay we'll start it now. It's cold. <laughs> it takes a little bit. Brainerd to me is just a great track, home away from home. It's like my second family, the workers, owners, drivers, they all are just absolutely wonderful. They help you with anything you need. They're really on top of their game as they're doing work on the track when they need it, just helping everyone out. the heat race I kind of had a little bit of an oops. Um, there's two cars in front of me and I kind of got a little high too and they looked like they were going to spin out so I kind of wanted to avoid it by spinning myself out so that if I were to tap them a little bit it'd be on the side panel here where it does a lot less damage versus your front end where you can ruin like a lot more. Thank gosh we didn't make a lap so I just started well in the back anyways that's where I started but it was kind of nice saving the car and if someone spins out and they stop that's an automatic caution. They just don't want to risk someone running into that car that's parked there, or me in that case. So it's kind of irritating spinning out. 
Merriworth and Bowman. Merriworth right back to the bottom now, and she has got things rolling. Been saving tires. One lap to go. Will it be Alan Bowman or Ashley Merriworth as they go down to one for the last time? Ash I've gotten second about three times. Just kind of gotten unlucky where I was leading the whole race, and all of a sudden the last two laps I got a flat tire. I've won a few heat races, the tracks I've been to. I've been in a few magazines, which was kind of an accomplishment for me. Kind of get the word out there that women can be drivers as well. So I made the cover page, that's kind of cool. Being a female driver is huge. Um, I think it really kind of puts your name out there and about women saying like, hey, we're just as important as you guys, like we can do this. Um, it's really cool seeing all the little girls and the women racing now. It's, I think, very important. She has actually started the wave of the female racing. She's got, there's now, I think, six girls racing in the Sport Compact class following her. She's the first girl to really go up and move up the ranks in the different classes, and she's been doing really well. So that really gave girls the hope that they could do well as well. It's just great knowing that kids actually look up to me and they want to be like me and just do what I want to do. I think it's just phenomenal. It's, it makes me like speechless. <laughs> Anybody can go into the pits and they all swarm her, swarm her pit stall. They all want her autograph. They all want her t-shirts. They all want her sweatshirts. Um, and she's just, she's just a real gem. Like she's super fun and she's very personable. And so she's just a really great role model to have here at the track and a really great uh, inspiration to look up to. Just got done with a feature and there's like a whole bunch of emotions going through. Um, I'm relieved, excited, my adrenaline's still going. It was great going from 10th, moving up to 5th. Didn't think I'd actually get top 5, but it was a great feeling to beat my goal. And get up there and be right behind those top 5 guys. It was great. So I got 5th tonight and then my brother got 7th. So he was right there behind me. Every night we're always going to the same tracks, stuff like that. And it's always our goal to be one of like beat him or he beats me and it's always fun to have that little brother sister rivalry and um, so I finally got to say I beat him tonight we always it's about 50 50 like I win sometimes he wins sometimes but it's always that achievement beating your brother sidecar racing has taught me to be more patient in life just to take everything in Enjoy every little moment, because you never know, some could happen, stuff like that. Just with family too, it's just fun seeing everyone's family, like, it's important. It's fun working with my dad and brothers just because you get that really close bond. Even when my mom and grandpa and grandma and everyone just comes in and they're hands on, it's just great to take a step back and just look at it and just take it in and just enjoy it and say, this is, what I'm, this is why I do it because of them. I always make goals for myself. I want to always do better than the last week. So say I got second this last Saturday, I always want to, I want to win. The reason why I keep racing is the fans, the people I meet, they're just, 
it's just fun meeting new people and seeing new things and just going out to new places. It's just an experience, an adventure all the time. This program on Pioneer Public Television is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. Additional support provided by Mark and Margaret Yakel Juline in honor of Shalom Hill Farm, a nonprofit rural education retreat center in a beautiful prairie setting near Wyndham in southwestern Minnesota. ShalomHillFarm.org. The Arrowwood Resort and Conference Center. Your ideal choice for Minnesota resorts, offering luxury townhomes, 18 holes of golf, Darling Reflection Spa, Big Splash Water Park, and much more. Alexandria, Minnesota. Explore hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for a great vacation or a place to hold an event. ExploreAlex.com. Tri-State Brain and Spine Institute. With locations in Alexandria, Edina, Crookston, and Maple Grove. Doctors dedicated to evaluating and treating all types of brain and spine problems, no matter how complex. 